That's music to God's ears right there. Mm -hmm. Amen. I can't help but to just look at all of God's beloved and see the anointing of his life, his presence within you. And I'm overwhelmed because I pray that all of God's people have this anointing through Christ our Lord. I pray that Holy Spirit is blessed in the Holy of Holies and that we show God's love unconditionally. You know, when Father spoke this world into existence and said, let there be light, he knew that we'd be standing right here at this very ground on this very day. And the glory of our God, our Father, is that he gives us the ability through Lord Jesus Christ, he is the word of God, that through the anointing power of Holy Spirit, we're able to speak change. We're, e we're able to speak blessings, hallelujah. We're, we're able to speak the cure, hallelujah. We're able to speak, say it with me, speak. You see, I believe sometimes when the enemy comes and he distracts us this way, I'll throw myself under the bus, I get quiet. I get consumed with depression and worry. Amen. No more. Amen. Say with me, Jesus is Lord. Jesus Lord. And I'm thankful. Is it only open arms community church that believes Jesus is Lord? No. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. I only heard open arms community church. There's only one church here, family. Amen. There's only one Lord. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Can we say it again for our Lord? Because he's right here with us. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Oh, they're getting louder now than you all. <laughs> right, so we got to fight right now. We got to fight. So one more time in heaven, because God is the only one that can rebuke this darkness. Can again, get an amen? Amen. God is the only one. There's no scripture. That, I mean, I can come. I could be. I could preach all day. They gave me three hours. I'll probably take three and a half. And with that. <laughs> but I mean, I just want to encourage you. I want to encourage you that despite what everything looks like, Nothing changes who our Father God is. Amen. He is good. He is kind. He is perfect. In John 10, 10, Lord Jesus Christ said, the devil comes. The thief. Y'all are so anointed and we thank God for y'all. And we're going to pray for y'all. Amen. We're going to pray for y'all. Please don't let us leave here without anointing y'all in oil. Amen. And I know you intercede and stand for the rest of our family and are taking care of these souls. The Lord Jesus Christ said, the thief comes to steal kill and destroy and destroy but that's a big but i like big buts <laughs> but say it with me but but i am come hallelujah lord jesus said i am here and i give you life and i give it to you more abundantly hallelujah <laughs> we have this saying open up to me church it just gets gooder and gooder amen which means I don't disrespect anything that's going on in these walls right here. I don't. Hear me, family. I'm not. But I know that it's a relationship with God Almighty. Yeah. And I'm not going to allow this world and all the chaos and all the destruction and all the thievery and all the deaths. I'm not going to allow it to hurt my God on the inside. I encourage you tonight. You're here for a reason. You may have thought, well, I'm here just to lay hands on this building and to march around and pray. Yes, that's part of it. But it's bigger than that. God Almighty is asking, do you know him? I know do you sure. know him? Do you, do you have Jesus Christ as Lord? Do you have Holy Spirit? There's religions, there's cults right now that say, oh, I got Jesus, but I don't need Holy Spirit. Can I tell you? That's the devil. <laughs> Who is agape? Who is God? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen? Can you break them apart? No. no. I pray in Jesus' name, and we're going to pray here in a minute, that Holy Spirit's sweet conviction just fills our hearts. You know, I, 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 was, I, I, was, I was one of the worst people. You know, my elder, my elder of all things said, have you ever thought that God would place you to be preaching in front of police? And I told him I was always running from the police. <laughs> right. <laughs> but say it with me, but God. But God. Yeah, the old is dead and gone. Amen. I'm going to believe this, and I ask you to believe with me, that in the name above every name, Lord Jesus Christ, is our God still the God who does miracles? Mm. Yes. Show of hands, did God do a miracle in your life? Let's, yes. let's just lift up our hands. Mm. And if you don't lift up your hand, stay, let, let us pray over you. God will do a miracle in your life. I promise mm. you that in Jesus' name. 
But I ask you, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, when we close out in prayer, will you pray with me? Will you call out? Family, there's people dying right now. There's souls dying. And there's some souls right now that are crying out to the Lord. And hallelujah for that. Amen? Amen. But there are also some. I'm not ignorant. I'm not foolish to this fact. There are some that are going straight to the pit of hell. But God has charged us. God has ordained every single one of you. If you have Jesus Christ as Lord, you have the power of Holy Spirit living on the inside. And we're going to start speaking the blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Can I get a hallelujah? If y'all would, let's, uh, let's pray. Amen. I don't hear you. Heavenly Father, you are good. Yes. You are perfect. You are God Almighty. Father, you love us so much that you rebuked all religion and you sent us a Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, thank you that you left heaven to save us. And that when you came to this fallen world, you showed us what a beloved child of God, how you worship. Your identity in Father God. The anointing you display through Holy Spirit. That Lord Jesus Christ, nothing moved you. Only Father God did. So Lord Jesus, in your holy and mighty name, you are right here in our presence. Your word says that you are right here in our midst. Father, I ask you to touch every heart. Through the anointing power of your light, Holy Spirit, I call on you, Holy Spirit, even those who don't believe in you. Even on those right now, Father, that are so blinded in religion that they're out here and they think that they're just out here to pray, void idle prayers, we rebuke that. Holy Spirit, get a hold of their hearts. And Father, we pray that your light shines like never before through every beloved child, through every church, for we are one in you, Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we lift up all the doctors and the nurses, all the caregivers, Father God. Right now, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, we speak a double portion anointing over every one of them, Father God. That your anointing, your light, Father, would shine through them and, and just renew their minds in the love that you have for us, Father God. Heavenly Father, we lift up all of our law enforcement workers and all the pu public workers, Father God, in retail, at the grocery Thank market. Jesus. Father, all the ones that are in the factory, Father. I plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, as a hedge of protection around them. And Father, I lift up every soul right now, every household that's here in your name, Lord Jesus Christ, to just bless you, Father God, and to see your miraculous take place. Holy Spirit, I know nothing can stop you. And Father, I know right now that you're going through room after room, through soul after soul behind these closed doors, Father. And above all, Father God, we can feel your angels that are all around us right now, watching over us and protecting us. The so Holy Spirit asks for this prayer as one body in Lord Jesus Christ, unified in Holy Spirit, as one church. It doesn't matter what the name is on the building. See, some of y'all got crunchy hearing that, but God wants to hear this from all of us together as one church. Say it with me, one church. One church. And we're going to say this prayer together. We're going to say it on the behalf of these souls that they may not be able to speak right now. There's some that are completely under right now. But we're going to intercede and we're going to say this prayer together. Are you all ready? Say amen. Amen.